DC TV show, Ben. Uh, I also love his content. But I don't know if he's an S. I'll put him at an A, to be honest. I don't know if I'll put him at an A. Yeah, I don't know if I'll put him at an S. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. On all of the Arrowverse, today we're going to be doing my rankings for all the seasons so far, and just before we get into this, I just want to say, the reason why I'm not including Legends Season 4 and Arrow Season 7, although it should be like all of the Arrowverse shows, I've just had no time recently, I've been doing exams and everything, so I'm going to be actually catching up and watching those shows in the next week or so, once I get fully back into it, and... Yeah, I just want to say sorry for that before we get into this, but this is all of the Arrowverse as a whole, obviously barring those two seasons, so I'm going to be including The Flash's latest season and Supergirl's as well, so this is out of 18 seasons. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so okay, you don't so miss any DCTV videos I'm going to be doing a ranking system out of 1, well, 0 to 10. So it can be 0.5, but I'm not doing anything else. So it's either 0.5 or a single digit. And let's start off from worst to best. So at number 18, we have Arrow Season 4. So my ranking for Arrow Season 4 is a 0 0.5 out of 10. I think it's an abysmal season. I think it's the only season of DC TV that is actually terrible, like straight up terrible. I think the only redeeming qualities of season four of Arrow is actually the Constantine episode, which I really did like, and also the crossover. But I'm not really going to include the crossover episodes in these scores because I feel like they're completely separate and they're totally different from the storylines of the season. So. Maybe I'll do a ranking video over the summer if you want it for all of the Arrowverse crossovers, whether it's the small crossovers, the big crossovers, or whatever. I think that will be interesting, so let me know, and I will be sure to get onto that. So yeah, not including the crossover, but I really did like the crossover episode, which was the setup for Legends, I do believe. So yeah, nothing really great this season. I thought it was really actually bad, and they killed Laurel off, and that was just very impulsive. That didn't really work, and the villain, Damien Dark so bad the worst villain in the Arrowverse. let's move on number 17 we have the flash season 4 this was such a major letdown and i gave this a 3 out of 10 in terms of the ranking and i was coming off of season 3 that i really really liked i really like season 3 we'll get to the ranking for that so i was very hyped i was very excited to see what was next and the way it ended with season 3 with the speed force i was so intrigued then he came back, the tone was all over the place, it was so not the Flash, it was just way over the top, the tone was flip-flopping all over the place, there was a few good episodes here and there, like the Think Origin Story, Flash Time, those episodes were able to knuckle down on what made the Flash good, and we saw that they actually corrected it in Season 5, and we'll get to that ranking very soon, but Season 4 was very much so all over the place, didn't know what it was going for, and the Thinker is a really bad villain he was really bad okay so let's move on number 16 we have arrow season 6 so i'm half half on this i gave this a 5 out of 10 i thought it was pretty good i thought there was nothing too wrong with the show i thought diaz was interesting i thought the whole storyline throughout the whole season was interesting but i didn't find it great nor did i find it bad so i'm just right in the middle for that number 15 we have arrow season 3 I don't have such a big problem with Arrow Season 3 as a lot of people do, but I gave it a 5.5 .5 out of 10, or it could budge up to a 6 out of 10, depends on the day, but I thought, like Arrow Season 6, it was just a fine season. There was nothing wrong with it, nothing too good. I thought Ra's al Ghul was actually alright, like some of the fight scenes were actually pretty good, like when Ra's actually fights Oliver, I thought that was a really good scene. So, maybe I need to revisit, but right now, Sort of 50-50 on that, 5.5 .5 out of 10. Okay, so let's move on to number 14. This is Supergirl Season 4. So this is obviously quite sad to me that I'm putting this season of Supergirl so low because I rate the other seasons so much. But the thing is, 
I thought it just started really, really poorly with the first few episodes, and then I actually thought it progressed the whole season. When, once we got to the mid-season, I was like, okay, this is pretty good, nothing too special. But then we go to Lex Luthor and Red Daughter, and that is where all things are firing off. And that is what I wanted throughout the whole season. I just thought the first half was really kind of lackluster compared to the amazing end. So that's why I'm giving it a 6.5 out of 10. I'm overall very positive on the season due to how good the ending was with Lex and Red Daughter and those episodes leading towards the end of the season. The finale is brilliant. The House of El, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? All of those absolutely brilliant episodes top class supergirl episodes i think the house of l the red daughter origin episode is one of supergirl's best episodes so i'm very positive on it but it's lower on my list because i thought the first half was very lackluster also agent liberty was not a good villain and manchester black was kind of a bit boring after a while and i felt like they didn't have a good story for most of the first half of the season and the story only kicked in really when lex and red daughter showed up properly okay so number 13 is Legends Season 3, so I gave it a 7.5 out of 10, because I really like this season, and I've really liked Legends right since the start, because I remember Season 1 when I watched it for the first time, I was so hyped, and it really delivered for me, and so Season 3, bit of a shift, not too much Rip Hunter in the season, then we get, you know, Constantine for an episode or two, and then we have more of the sort of demonic sides of the story, and... The only downside maybe to the season was Damien Dark. Yes, he was an improvement from Arrow Season 4, but I still don't like him. But yeah, Season 3, very solid season of Legends. Number 12, Legends Season 2. So I'm pretty much like rounded out. Like I think Legends Season 1, 2, and 3 are pretty much like equally as good. And so Season 2 was a very good season. I really did like it. And it sort of progressed what was happening in Season 1. I thought it was very good. But, I don't know, I felt like maybe some of the cast members getting lost, like Snart actually not being there, maybe that impacted the show a little bit, maybe I just liked a bit more of that. But the good thing about this season actually was, I felt like a lot of the episodes were really, really solid, and especially the Legion of Doom and the Camelot episode, I really liked. So, yeah, very, very positive on Legend Season 2. And then we go to the number 11, Legend Season 1. 7.5 out of 10. Once again, so all the Legend seasons, season was 1 to 3. Obviously, I'm not ranking season 4 because I haven't finished it yet. But they are all the same ranking. I think they're equally as good. But I think Legend Season 1 is my favourite one due to Rip Hunter. I think Rip Hunter is so interesting. Also, the fact that this is like a time travel show. And I remember watching it for the first time when it came out. I was so hyped. And I think it very much so delivered. Apart from... I'm not too sure about Vandal Savage. I think Vandal Savage and Hawk Girl were a bit of a letdown. Also Hawkman, because I'm such a big Hawk Girl fan. And I think Vandal Savage is really great in the comics. I was kind of a bit let down by that. So I think in Legends Season 1, 2, and 3, I think I really, really did like the seasons. There was just like a few things that maybe held it back from getting higher on my list. Okay, so number 10, The Flash Season 5. This is the latest season. I gave it an 8 out of 10. I really like this season. And so my top 10 is, you know, I think these are ace seasons. So I think these are all really, really, really good. And so season 5, loved it. All the Nora stuff, brilliant. Reverse Flash, brilliant. Everything that happened in the season, bar just the Cicada stuff, I thought was excellent. And I loved the way it ended and how it teased Crisis. So I think the only letdown is Cicada, and I'm really hoping for a really great villain in Season 6 off The Flash. I think that's the only thing that I wasn't too hot on. But they really got the tone back to normal from the absolute travesty that was the tone in Season 4. Okay, so let's move on. Number 9, Arrow Season 1. I'm pretty much the same with Arrow Season 1 as I am with another season which we'll get to in a second. But I gave it an 8 out of 10, the same as The Flash Season 5. I think this was such a great start to the Arrowverse and, you know, it's the original. I, I love the pilot so much. I love the finale and all the character building. I thought it was just an excellent season. Okay, so let's move on. Number 8, Arrow Season 2. I give this exactly the same rating as The Flash Season 5 and Arrow Season 1. This is an 8 out of 10. Really love this season. I think the reason why it's higher 
is there's just a few more episodes that I can sort of point out off the top of my head than maybe season one. So like The Scientist, where we saw Barry for the first time, loved that episode. And there was a bunch of episodes a bit like that that I was like, mm, maybe this is just topping season one a little bit with, you know, the finale being really good and a few of the other episodes like Three Ghosts with Barry still in it. I really, really liked this season of Arrow. So Deathstroke was absolutely brilliant as well. He is definitely one of the best villains. He's not one of my favorites like a lot of people think, but let's move on. So number seven, Supergirl season one. This is an 8.5 out of 10. This is an amazing season. I freaking love it so much. I remember sitting down watching the first Supergirl episode when it came out and I just straight away fell in love with the show. I thought it's such a great show having Wynn, John and Alex actually coming in and their chemistry works so well. But it is down to Melissa Benoist and her portrayal of Kara. Damn, she is so freaking good as Kara. She's so charming. She works with everyone so well. But also as Supergirl, brilliant. I freaking love season one so much. Okay, so let's move on to number six. This is Arrow season five. This is my favorite season of Arrow. And this is a nine out of ten. So we're getting really close to that ten out of ten mark. I thought this is easily the best season of Arrow. Prometheus is my favorite Arrow villain. He's one of my favorite Arrowverse villains. He is so good. I love it so much. There was so many episodes in this season that I truly adored, especially Capuchon and What We Leave Behind. I think there are so many good little episodes that are checkered throughout the season and like Checkmate was super good and I think it was mainly down to Prometheus. He was so good, like ridiculously good. Okay, so let's move on. Number five, we have Supergirl season two. I have this at a 9.5 out of 10. So you can tell we're really getting into it right now. Some really great stuff. This is the introduction of Monel, one of my favorite characters in the Arrowverse. And this season truly sparked one of my favorite relationships in all of the shows. And I know not everyone's super into relationships on the shows, but Caramel, Cara and Monel, I just thought the dynamic worked so well. And the first time they had their interaction, if you remember when Monel was looking at her and stuff like that, I just thought. That story and the focus on Kara this season was so good and we obviously had a pretty decent villain like the only downside maybe a little bit would be Rhea but I did like her for the most part. So number four is Supergirl season three. This is a 9.5 out of 10 again and this is my favorite season of Supergirl. Rain is one of the best villains in the Arrowverse. She is so good. There was such an interesting story throughout the whole season. Then we got the introduction of Argo. Allura came back. That was shocking. We had the return of Monel, the introduction of Legion of Superheroes. I just thought everything worked in season three, apart from how Monel was sent off. But you know, maybe that's just me being a salty kid. So let's move on. Number three is The Flash season three. So. I sort of battled it out like whether to put the Flash season 3, Supergirl season 3 or Supergirl season 2 because really I like them all the same. I am actually very fond of the Flash season 3. I think it's a very good season. There was a few up and downs, a few sort of filler episodes, maybe more to do with Gypsy that I wasn't too keen on, but I really like Sabotar. I thought the mystery was so intriguing and the build up was great and yeah he might have got revealed a bit too late. But I didn't have personally any problem and I thought the reveal was so good. And I just thought the season, I really liked the tone and how dark it was. I just thought it really worked, especially going off of Barry's mistake after Flashpoint and everything that happened with that. And how dark season 2 ended, I thought it carried on very well. Okay, so moving on. Number 2. This is moving into 10 out of 10 territory. At number 2, we have The Flash Season 1. So... Like I said, both of these are 10 out of 10, my top 1 and 2, so yeah, really tough to actually sort of figure out which goes first, but I decided The Flash Season 1 goes number 2, and the reason for it being number 2 and not number 1 is I have no reason. I just slightly prefer the villain in Season 2, which we'll get to, but damn, Season 1 is one of the best seasons of TV that I can remember, like there is basically no flaws in my opinion i absolutely love it from start to finish i've watched the episode so many times like especially the pilot 
I love the pilot so much, and then you have, you know, the finale, which is incredible, you have Reverse Flash throughout the season, his reveal was just insane, and Reverse Flash is easily one of the best villains in DC TV, coming close to the reason why I think season 2 is maybe edging it a tiny bit if I were to rank, but I class this as 10 out of 10, absolutely love the Flash season 1. Okay, let's move on to number 1. My number one pick for all of the Arrowverse shows of all time, my favourite season is The Flash Season 2. I rate this a 10 out of 10, I think this is a flawless season, I think Zoom is the best villain that they've ever done, and that only slightly edges out over Reverse Flash, who I think is flawless as well, but I would say I personally like Season 2 a little bit more. I think Zoom is just such an unparalleled villain that we've ever had you know at a point I was really questioning is this guy a human I truly believed at a point I wasn't sure who he was like if he was actually a human or not but his story was so intriguing we had the reveal of the man in the iron mask we had the reveal of zoom so amazing I love the build up to that and then you have the battles between Barry and Zoom some of the best fight scenes and some of the best scenes that you can actually remember that I can remember especially like if you remember back to the enter Zoom episode when he comes out for the first time he meets Barry and he beats the shit out of him drags him across the city what a great scene and then one of my favorite episodes of all time actually happened in this season and that was when we went to Earth 2 which was absolutely nuts, seeing the multiverse being introduced for the first time. You know, that was revelatory. And I think the tone of season two is a bit darker than season one, obviously. And probably my favorite scene of all time in Arrowverse happens in season two. And that's the final scene of season two when Barry goes back in time and creates Flashpoint. It's so emotional, it's so raw, it's so really personal. Because you, at, by this point, you've had two seasons to build up your connection with Barry and making this mistake I remember watching it when it aired and I was like holy shit what the fuck are you doing Barry and so you really feel it and so that's one of my favorite scenes of all time I love season 2 so let me know your list in the comments down below if you're going to do all 20 or 18 like me if you haven't caught up which I'm very sorry about or you can leave a top 5 or like a top 10 so let's just quickly re go through my list so number one is the flash season two number two the flash season one number three the flash season three number four supergirl season three number five supergirl season two number six arrow season five number seven supergirl season one number eight arrow season two number nine arrow season one number ten the flash season five and then you can check out the video before for all the rest because there's a lot more but anyway so thank you guys so much for watching this very kind of lengthy video but I thought you know I've never done one like this I've done like to do with the costumes to do with like villains and stuff but yeah so this is my ranking so let me know yours please be sure to actually subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos over the summer also I'm going to be going to San Diego Comic Con this summer and I've currently opened a GoFundMe page I want to say a massive thank you to all of you who have actually contributed we are over 300 pounds right now it's nuts so if you haven't done and you want to and it's completely optional obviously you can go to the gofundme page or my patreon in the link in the description below to help contribute getting me to san diego comic con because i live over the other side of the world and it would mean so much so thank you all for watching and i'll catch you guys later goodbye